wonderful show that we are waiting for. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm all completely sure that you will all enjoy it a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome with a big applause, Irka Mateo. So as, um, I want to thank you, um, the Global Foundation, for inviting me to come here and uh, also the UN for uh, having us in this auditorium to, to play and to talk about our, our culture, our Caribbean culture. The Dominican folk music, um, it's played mostly in the religious celebrations, the Tainos. The religion, uh, it was very important for them and uh, the music, the music played a, a very, very important role also on bringing all these ancestors close to them so they could ask for uh, how to rule the, the community, if they were going to have enough rain and how the crops were going to be. And uh, so they used to do all these ceremonies where the music was present. Then after um, we had the European people who came to the Caribbean and uh, they brought with them our brothers and sisters from, from Africa and, uh, and they, they had similar uh, traditions as us of uh, being very close to nature and um, the god and goddesses and the ancestors. It's um, the most important one because we, we find it in the, in the whole island is the Haitian influence. There are other kind of accordion rhythms that are more European, and uh, this is another uh, this is another aspect of uh, of the Dominican folklore. Salves and um, the Congos there in the center in, in Villamella. Uh, we have all the funerary rites. We have uh, the a cappella songs, and that's much it. It's a, it's a, a richness that uh, we could not imagine can exist in the, the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Let's play! <laughs> Ay, que viva Papa Lí, 
Gregorio y a la perre de la mañana. 